Hi everyone, so now that we're into July I thought it was time to film my June favourites so I'm going to start off straight away and just go into this new foundation I've been using and it's Bourjois Healthy Mix which is this one here and I have it in shade 51 which is quite a pale shade but matches my skin tone and I really wanted just a kind of lighter foundation now that we're moving into the summertime and this has different fruit extracts for radiance, hydration, antioxidant and energy so not sure how much the energy one works but I really like this, it blends really well into the skin gives a really nice finish to it and it also kind of smells a bit of fruit so if you don't like heavily scented products then this might not be for you but maybe go down to your local drugstore or Boots or Super Drug whatever and have a go with the test on your hand and see if you like it so I really really liked this product this month the next thing is this Rimmel Natural Bronzer and mine is in sun bronze and what I really like about this one is that it doesn't have any sparkle or glitter bits in it so you can really use it to contour your cheekbones just give you a really nice kind of like a bronze look but without looking too sparkly and it also doesn't give you that kind of orange look either so this one's I'd really recommend this for kind of paler skin although it looks quite dark in here it doesn't come out nearly as dark as that on your skin the other thing is this blush and glow set by 17 and I have it in peaches and cream now you might have seen it in a tutorial before I used it the product and it had half blush and half um, highlighter but mine actually smashed when it hit pan so what I did was I fixed it up and kind of blended it all into one and I really like this colour now especially for the evenings it's quite shimmery um, but it has a really nice pinky peach tone to it too For nail varnish, I've been really loving this mint green colour, um, which is called Mint Green by Barry M. It's their nail paint. Um, I did a blog post on this, which, well, my blog I just started up, so the link will be in the description. But if you want to check it out, I reviewed it on there and I also posted a picture on Twitter. So I really wanted this colour for the summer. It's a really nice, um, bright shade. And I find this lasts really, really well on my nails. It doesn't chip, you know, for about a week. Um, and I usually use just two coats of this and it gives a really really nice finish on your nails also it goes kind of shiny so it looks like you've almost got a top coat on by itself but speaking of top coats um, another thing I really like is Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat this is it here now I bought one of these um, last year when I was on holiday in America um, just to try it out and I really really liked it and then it ran out um, I think like a month or two ago and I didn't buy a new one so I thought oh I've got other top coats I can just use those but I really noticed the difference that my nails have kind of gone a little bit sticky you know like they take ages to dry and you kind of feel like you can't touch anything for hours after well with this you don't have to worry because you just paint your nails leave them to dry for two minutes put this top coat on and then after 30 seconds they should be touch dry so it leaves a really nice almost like a hard like lacquer finish on your nails really nice and shiny um, stops them from chipping but most importantly for me it makes sure that they have a nice shine to them and don't dry with kind of like fingerprint marks that I usually get too impatient with so I really really liked that this month and I'm glad that I repurchased it um, for books this month I actually read these books ages and ages ago but I was recommending them to my sister to read now that she's uh, she's 13 so these are kind of the age maybe that when I read them or 14-ish and these are the Sophie McKenzie books and it's Girl Missing and Blood Ties these are two separate books but I'd recommend both of them and she has another series up but these are my favourite ones by her um, they're really addictive to read, have a really nice plot quite easy to read, read as well and it wouldn't take you very long at all to get through them so I recommend them for some nice light summer reading um, my favourite YouTube channel of this month is Flirt Force um, she does kind of like makeup um, hauls, kind of product favourites and that on her main channel but this month I've been watching her June de vlog so she's been vlogging every day of June and she's been in LA for VidCon and also for IMATS and stuff so if you wanted to go to VidCon but you couldn't get there or IMATS and you didn't get there then you can check out her videos and it's almost like you were there um, one more thing I've been really liking this month and that is the TV show Lost um, now my dad bought the box set of like all the series so I've watched the whole of series 1 I'm like halfway through series 2 and I've just been completely addicted to it so that's my TV show of the month 
Um, that's all my favourites for June. Hopefully I have some more things to try out in July and let you know at the end of July. I hope you've had a really, really good June and if you've got any favourite products or any questions about the products, then leave it as a comment below and I'll get back to you on that. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!